All right, I just finished a great lunch of quesadillas out here in the woods. Ah, oh, they were so good. That'll become under a separate video if you're interested. But now, of course, it's coffee time, and I have a different way of making coffee I want to share with you. This is the Outin Nano portable electric espresso maker. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on it, keep watching. Before we get started, I just want to thank Outin for sending out the Nano portable electric espresso maker so that I could share it with you. Now, before anybody cries foul and says, Mark, electronic devices like that have no place out in the woods. Okay, that's fair. If that's the way you feel about it, then you can skip this video altogether. But if you're like many of us and you enjoy a really good cup of coffee and you're looking for a new and different way of making coffee while you're out in the woods, then and this video may be for you. Now, what I'll do is I'll bring you in closer, show you the Outin and all that came with it. I'll talk about how it works. I'll give you a few specifications, but more importantly, I'll demonstrate it and make myself a cup of coffee. All right, let's get started. All right, I want to give you a few of the key features for the Outin Nano before we go into the physical specifications for it. So one of the things is that this is a self-contained unit, meaning that you do not have to heat your water to make your espresso. The heating element is built into this, and it will actually take cold water and with three and a half minutes it will heat the water up to the proper temperature for making the espresso and run it through. Now I'll tell you this now if you're going to go the cold water route with this you'll only get about five brews before you run the battery down and then you'll have to charge it up. Having said that though you can put in hot water so in fact I've got my kettle over my stove right now just maintaining a nice low simmer and that's the water I'm going to be using. If I put hot water in the top and start it it takes up 35 seconds total to run that right through the this and then you can get over 200 different brews through it so you know if you're going to be boiling water for something else anyway it makes more sense save the battery you can get 200 coffees out of this if you use hot water each time only five if you start with cold water I think that's worth knowing as well it has it will operate at uh, 92 degrees Celsius 198 degrees Fahrenheit and it'll up it'll build up to 20 bar of pressure pressure that's well over what's needed the minimum for making espresso and as you'll see, it develops a nice rich crema on top of the coffee. Uh, it has a, it is chargeable with 12 or 24 volt. 12 or 24 volt car charger and the USB as I mentioned a minute ago. All right now as far as physical specifications for this unit goes um, there is a few downsides right obviously one is the weight so the weight of this is 24.5 ounces or 694 grams and that includes the portafilter and the scoop. Now you need the portafilter I don't know that you need the scoop but it's only an extra gram or two to take anyway. Overall length 9.33 inches or 237 millimeters diameter 2.83 inches or 72 millimeters all right last thing i'll tell you before we get down to making some coffee is that the nano is available in five different colors and i chose the forest green i think that was appropriate for use out here in the woods all right let's make some coffee let's fill the porta filter up with coffee first so that's the cap that goes on the bottom this is the porta filter for use with ground coffee and of course I have some Rampage coffee that I ground very fine. Now I know traditionally uh, espresso is made with a very dark roast, very finely, finely ground. And yeah, that's acceptable of course, but you can also make it with any coffee you want really. It's, in fact, it's all about experimenting with it. I think I may as well leave my normal scoop out, use the scoop that came with, put a little bit more in, until I'm close to the top. Tap that down a little bit. Got to make sure that there's no coffee over the, the outside of this on the top. In fact, I could probably get just a little bit more coffee in there. Not too much. Now, you don't tamp it down really hard. I mean, I don't need to tell this to regular espresso makers, but I'm just kind of flattening, evening off. The coffee there you can see the porta filter is pretty much full i've left just a tiny bit of gap at the top because there's a tiny bit of compression that takes place when you put the cap on it put that inside oh no not like that like this put that inside screw it together quite tight don't have to be so tight that you can't turn it anymore but quite tight put that on top now open the lid off I'm going to pour some water in after I put the coffee out of the way so I don't spill it. All right, I'll take, I'm going to fill this right up to the 80 mark because I like a 
It's not that I like a less strong, I just want a little bit more coffee. All right, I can put the cap on. Now, the on-off button. If I was starting from cold, I would press and hold the button for two seconds and the lights would start flashing, one, and then eventually up to four as it heats the water up and then the pump will start. Since I'm starting with hot water, I'll press and hold the button for a full five seconds and you will hear the pump kick in. And that's all that do, I have to do. And I just have to wait out the 35 seconds for the coffee to run through. And that's it. It's done. Okay, I'll reposition the camera. We'll do a taste test. All right, I've repositioned the camera. Let's test that out. Now, just before I do the taste out, I'll point out that the lid on top of the Nano can be taken off and flipped upside down on your counter at home. Then you can set the whole device on top of that just to prevent any little stains of coffee that might leak out at the bottom of this. I'm not too worried about that out here. All right. Oh, that is good, right? That is very, very good. Now, uh, just a word on coffee itself and making it, making the espresso with this device. I'm using Rampage Riot, which is a medium roast coffee. I have it ground fairly fine, but not as fine as most people would recommend for use with espresso. In fact, the traditional espresso coffee is either French roast or Italian roast, ground very fine, not a powder, but almost to a powder point. And there's a few more, I mean, there's a whole science and art around the making of espresso. So my point being is if you um, are not a fan of the really dark, hit you in the back of the head kind of full body espressos, you might want to try a lighter roast coffee. There's no rules that says you can't. In fact, a lot of people are doing that and a lot of the coffee shops are making them out of lighter roasts and it just changes the dynamics, but you still get a really good tasting full bodied coffee, just not that really harsh burnt stuff the way some people describe it, of course. I can drink it both ways. I like them all. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to point that out for you and you can play with the grind. In fact, I recommend you do. You try Try different things and uh, the nice thing about this device I think for me personally other than the fact that it's portable something I can bring out here in the woods something I can car camp travel with go to some any place I want to with it is the fact that I didn't invest a huge okay yes it was sent to me for review but the cost at $150 is not an outrageous price to make for a good espresso maker unless you really want one of those big honking jobs that sit on the counter take up a lot of space and cost a lot of money some people do. I'm not quite that dedicated to making espressos that I want that. So this works very nicely for me. Uh, maybe that's one of the downsides. It's still $150 any way you cut it. So it's not a cheap device. But by the way, uh, Oat Inn has offered me a 10% off code for viewers who are interested in purchasing one of these for yourself. Once again, I'm not suggesting you have to have one of these. If this is not your thing, then don't buy it, please. But if you really want to try a really nice cup of coffee out in the woods or you have uses for it elsewhere, or like me, it's just an investment that you're willing to make without having to go to the big machine that's going to take up space in your counter. Yeah, it's it's not a bad idea at all. That link or that code will be in the video description below. It makes a nice cup of coffee. You can start with the basic espresso and then you can start building all the drinks that you can off of that as you would like. Now, one thing I do want to say, where did I put that? This is the one thing that I was kind of surprised that uh, Otin did not include with this device and that is some kind of a storage sack that I could put it for traveling. Now, in fairness, they do have an optional case where you can, like one of those little fitted zippered cases, you can put the device in and the, the uh, port of filters in and, and take it all away. I just thought that was a bit excessive for out here in the woods. I didn't think I needed that. So I just made a little stuff sack for mine, but it would be nice if Odin included a stuff sack like that. Just your basic one, nothing too special, just something to keep everything in one place if you're traveling out in the woods like I am and I know people are saying Mark would you really carry a 25 almost 26 ounce device with you out in the woods not often 
but I'd take a car camping easily enough, and I'd take it other places, but I would take it out here once in a while. Yeah, absolutely. It's just if I'm looking for a different way of making coffee that results in a different but very good way tasting coffee, yeah, sure I would. Not a lot, though, right? An espresso is a small amount of coffee, but a lot of people refer to it as a condensed coffee, flavor in a smaller package. Add a little water to it, you have an Americano. Add milk and you have a latte, depending on how you mix it, of course. Yeah, I just put that out there. Okay, I will be putting all the, the physical description and everything else in the video description below, as well as the links to where you can take another look at this. And if you want, use that 10% off code. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, put those in the comments section below. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel, because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.